She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her There must be something bad Hey you guys, it's me B Dash Girl and today I have a really fun video for you guys. Today we're going to be playing some video games, but not just any video games. They are fun fashion video games. All three of these games are super popular. They're super addictive and you can download them on any of your devices. I personally have all three of these apps downloaded to my iPad and my cell phone. So no matter, no matter where I am, I can always be working on my fashion and my fashion skills. Um, and I think you guys are going to enjoy it. I'm going to do a short playthrough of each game. Um, I'm not going to touch on everything you can do in the game because that's for you guys to download and try it out. But we're just going to do just quick little snippets through each game showing you how you can style in the game. Um, so let's not waste any more time. Let's get started. So the first game that we're going to be playing is called Super Stylist. It's a really fun game. It's, you know, it's, it's pretty cute too. And I think you guys are going to really enjoy it. So let's get started with this one. So the first thing we get to do is select our character. They have three different characters here, which is pretty cool. Um, I am going to go with the black girl. You know, she looks like me, so that's what we're going to go with. So now you get to modify your character, change her up a bit. I'm just going to change her hair and maybe her hair color as well to something more on trend. Um, so we'll see. I think that this hair color looks the best. And then her eye color, I want it to be brown. Um, and then we can also do give her some lipstick, some cute lipstick that I think looks nice on her. Um, something more neutral, which is what I usually wear. And then we have to do a really pretty eyeshadow look. And we're done now. She looking good or whatever. So this girl is my friend Nikki. I have my own shop. And she's basically congratulating me on getting my own showroom and... Um, she's trying to help me get clients into my showroom and she of course as my friend wants to be the first client So um, we're going to go ahead and style her with a red dress. It looks like so that's what we're gonna do next So if you see here at the top it says the client is requesting a red dress So we're gonna pick out a cute red dress right now. Um, we are still limited. We don't have a lot of items So we're just gonna pick what we can from the store here. I found a dress and some shoes I think that she'll like Based on looking at her and looking at her style, I think that'll be a super cute look for her. So now we just wait for the look to arrive in the store. As you can see, it's pending over there, but I'm going to get it uh, shipped free really fast and it'll come. She's going to try on the outfit, sparkle, glitter, and shine. She's going to be all amazed or whatever. Oh my God, you look so great. I look so great. Like, thanks so much for like helping me find this outfit. And I'm like, yeah, girl, you know, you look good or whatever. You ain't got to worry about that. And then she's going to get all excited and she's going to like tell everyone about me. And my store going to get to pop in. But of course she got to pay me. So as you guys can see, she paid me $110. And I doubled that to $250 because you can double the money. And I got a new client named Zoe. So the other thing I wanted to show you guys about the game is that you can customize your character a little more. So I'm going to change her outfit a little bit because she's looking a little crusty with them pants and stuff. It ain't cute. So we're going to customize her outfit and give her something more summer looking. Um, like I said, right now, until you get more further in the game, your items that you have are pretty limited. But I'm going to do my best with what they have right now. As you can see, there's locks down there and a lot of stuff. So I'm just going to give her something cute that I would probably wear if that's all I had in my closet. Give her some accessories. Um, my favorite color is pink, so I'm pinking her all out. Um, but yeah, they have all kind of stuff you can go through the store and get. And as you progress further in the game and get more money and get diamonds and things like that, you can buy a lot more from the store, which is really cool. Yeah, so the last thing I wanted to show you guys is that um, here and there, they'll pop up a who wore it better little game here. And you can just look at the outfits and click which one you thought wore better. So here I'm just selecting the looks that look the best. And then you get a reward so you can get more stamina and more money for that. So it's pretty cool. So that will conclude um, our first game playthrough of Super Stylist. I hope you guys go and download it. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy what you saw. It's pretty fun. Um, but now we're going to jump into our next game. Hold up. I just realized that you are not subscribed. You have to subscribe. Come be a part of the B-Dash Girl family and make sure you turn on your notification bell. Thank you. I'm going to play. It's called Love Nikki, Dress Up Queen. 
Um, I only have this one downloaded to my cell phone, so that's why the screen looks a bit different because I have all my progress there. I didn't want to lose it because I've been playing this game for over a year now. It's a ton of fun. Let's just jump right in. It's a bit more magical, if you will, and there's so much more to do in this game, even more to do than in Super Stylus. So I'm just going to show you guys a little bit of it, and I hope you guys enjoy it. So as soon as you log in, you have this entire little world where there's so many things you can do, so many notifications to check through as you're playing. So let's just go on ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is called the Starry Corridor. I'm going to click on that and check to see all of the rewards I have won for the day. Um, they give you diamonds and there's coins and um, star coins. You use those to pay for clothes as you're styling. Um, and making it through the different segments of the story line for the game. So I'm just collecting everything here. And then um, we're going to click on our start journey button there. And there's a little love Nikki bus. It takes you through multiple different worlds. I've already defeated it like five worlds. This is like the fifth world that I'm on now. And as you can see, this S's just mean like superstar. And then they grade you. So I got a B on that one and A on that one. And now we're going to click on the very next one. Um, and it takes you on the next journey. So it's kind of like a storyline as you play. Your friends are on this adventure with you, a styling adventure, um, and it's all fairy tale like. And as you're going on your stylist adventure, you run across multiple different people that you have to do style challenges against in order to continue going on your quest. Uh, so it's a whole little thing. There's a lot of reading and all that. Usually, sometimes I read through it, sometimes I don't. Um, but the most important part is to read through the person you're going to be styling against um, because the whole thing is to try to beat their style. So this girl that they're showing right now, her name is Vivi. And I basically have to do a, a dueling match against her to style a look um, that will beat her styling look. And if you beat her, then you get to move to the next level. So it looks like we're going to do a classy lady outfit. So let's get started with that. And yes, we're going to accept our quest. So this is our closet. Um, it has everything that you've ever bought, everything that you've ever won in matches. Um, so above her head here is the store. You can go into the store and you can use your diamonds that you get daily and the coins that you get from um, challenges to buy different things. Everything you can think of, you can buy in the store. Um, and there's all kind of different items like hair and stuff like that. Um, and then when you go back, you can click on a button called tips. The tips is the most important part because it shows you the proper style you're going to need in order to defeat your opponent and what you're trying to do. So you always want to check that before you start styling. Um, and then I'm just going to go to a dress. I love to put dresses on her because they're usually pretty easy. Um, and most of the time the challenges call for a dress. So we're just going to find a nice dress. Um, when you hold the item, it shows you uh what it is if it's gorgeous and pure and things like that where it's from um so that also helps you get a more leverage on the kind of item that you want to use um and because in my tips it said that the look they're going for is gorgeous and pure um this dress has those those kind of you know things with it so we want to do that you get to choose her hair as well um so this is what i've gotten so far i'm going to probably put some stockings on her because we're going for a classy look um, so I've chose some white, you know, just plain white stockings. Uh, the biggest thing is find a pair of shoes that looks good. So I think I'm going to go on ahead with these pure white crystal diamond shoes. Um, and then of course you get to look through your accessories and you can choose earrings and headwear, gloves, um, necklaces, there's purses, I mean, scarves, there's pretty much any and everything that you'd wear in real life, um, they have in the game. So trying to see if I want to put a pair of gloves on her. Um, and I think I will because it goes better with the look to make it even more classy and even more gorgeous. Because that's the style uh, criteria that they want. And then there's also things, these things called foregrounds and backgrounds that you can buy in the store to even up your chances of winning even more. Um, so every time I have a challenge, if it fits the look, I'll put something as like a little thing in front of her or behind her. Um, and the last thing I want to do is choose a purse, um, some kind of clutch maybe would be really cute. This clutch matches really lovely. And yeah, this is pretty much the look I've gone for. I think that this look will be good. 
then you can look and choose your different opponent things before you go on and do the styling and now it's showtime so um, you have uh, some judges behind the scenes, those little things there, those blobs kind of judge your outfit compared to hers. And you guys duel it out. So these button sets down here, you can click on them as you're playing um, to, you know, boost your charm and things like that to try to win. I won this challenge um, and that's my score that they have given me and I got an A on this. Um, and then they give you some money and things like that. So that's pretty much how this game works. And then they tell you that you can make you made it to the next phase in your journey and you can claim some more gifts as you're going along, which is pretty darn cool. So this will conclude our playthrough of Love Nikki. Um, it's, it's just a really magical, upbeat, really fun game um, with lots of anime type, you know, fashion in there. So if you're into that, I highly recommend this game for you. But let's jump into our third and final game. Hey cutie, if you like what you see, then make sure to smash that like button. So the next game we are going to play is called Covered Fashion. It needs no introduction. Every fashionista knows this game. So we're going to go on ahead and get started. Um, as you guys can see, they have a lot of different things you can do on this game. The biggest feature is the daily challenges that you can do. So we're going to look through some of these daily challenges and pick one that we can do as far as styling. But as you guys can see, they have so many different types and array of different challenges that you can play um, to, you know, develop your fashion skills and see if you know how to get the look. Then they have a tab called Jet Set where they just show you different areas throughout the world you can play in. And then they have a voting tab where you if you vote, you can earn tickets. So I'm just going to vote for a couple of the looks I think are the best. So you guys will see as I click on each girl, a green you voted for will pop up and that'll show you guys which look I thought looked the best. Um, so this theme is, you know, a look for when you're walking through Paris and trying to look fashionable. So I'm just choosing my personal favorites. And then you get tickets um, and diamonds when you check your mailbox. And then you also can go through um, all of your closet your looks and your liked items so these are some of the things that are in my personal closet that i've purchased for different looks over time and then i also will show you guys some of the looks that i have put together um, for different types of challenges and now we're going to get to actually styling so we're going to do the summer poses i thought this one would be fun if you look they show you what the challenge is about how much it costs and the requirements it looks like we have to do a purple accessory item and a metallic bag and it shows you the rewards you can win also so let's go ahead and get started styling our girl so the styling challenge for this one is to style an influencer look who's trying to change up her social media so that it reflects more summer content which is actually what i'm doing so i'm trying to choose a really cute look i think that will reflect that um so we're going to go through our options here and i'm going to refine some of the search options so i'm going to pick out colors that i want that reflect more summer looks and then also some garments that i would like um i'm refining it to dresses and jumpsuits I want to refine it to 2020 summer and 2020 spring looks only so they generate that after you pick those types of things and i'm just going to look through some of the items and see what looks good on her um you know i was thinking about maybe this blue jumpsuit but then we can switch it up a bit and maybe look and see some more options as far as dresses and things like that go but i'm not really feeling these I do like this dress. This dress is really cute. So we're going to keep this dress and we're going to find some accessories now. Um, I think I'm going to go with those heart shaped earrings and then we have to choose a metallic bag. So I'm going to choose that purple round metallic bag because it's a bit different from the usual. And then now we're going to choose our purple accessory because those are the two requirements. So I'm just looking through some different purple accessories I think will look good with the outfit. Um, but I think I'm going to go with a pair of sunglasses because that's always super chic. And then I already knew what shoes I wanted to have. And we have to, of course, also choose our makeup look. I think I want to go with the uh, natural glam look. Something so it's not too much cake for summer. Um, and then, of course, our accessories, our jewelry. So we got to, you know, put some bling bling on her, make her look real nice or whatever. So I'm just choosing some a couple of diamonds, um, a ring or two, some really standout pieces and yeah this is what i've come up with so we're going to go on ahead and submit our look into the challenge and then the next day they'll tell me my results 
um, but I've reached all the requirements with the metallic bag and the purple item. I've submitted and as you can see I got $100 for submitting. But yes, this will be the end of our three games. I hope you guys enjoyed the games and I hope you guys enjoyed Covet Fashion. It's a really, really fun game to play. Wow, you made it all the way to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching the full thing. Leave mangoes in the comment section so I know that you're a real one. And remember, love, peace, and happiness.